today, how y'all doing out there in internet land? <laughs> I'm going to teach you guys how to do a 20 ounce steel tumbler with a regular heat press, with a regular mug press, I'm sorry, regular mug press. I know a lot of people want to buy the tumbler press and have two or three presses. You don't need to. All you need is a regular mug press, and I'm going to show you how to do them right now. So the first thing you want to do, make sure you, 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 you taped your mug, you tape your print. I already printed. I taped my mug already. You know, it's just, I'm not using any shrink wrap. If you pay attention, it's just tape in the, in the, in the uh, picture. Then you want to set your press to 370. That's 370. And you want your time to be 50 seconds. 370 for 50 seconds. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn. I'm a, I usually keep the tape towards me first. Slide it in. I don't put it all the way to the end. I put it close. I just close it. Hit the start button for 50 seconds. Now, once the time is up, I just stop it. And I press it all the way, just slide it down. Again, just where the end of the tumbler is, just at the end of the uh, heat shrink thingy, 50 more seconds. So I started on the left side, 50 seconds. Then I slid it to the right side, 50 seconds. Now, once this stops, I'm just going to turn the tape the opposite way. Keep it on the same side. Lock it. 50 more seconds. Now, once this stops, I'm just going to slide it again to the right. Lock it. 50 more seconds. Now, once those 50 seconds are up, what I like to do because you want your ends to be, you know, just as vibrant as the rest of them. I slide it down just a little bit where the uh, top of the mug, the top of the tumbler is in the center of the heat thing. And I do it for 30 seconds on this side. I spin it, do it for 30 seconds on the other side. And then I do the bottom the same way. That way I make sure I get good pressure on the bot tops and the bottom of the tumbler. I mean, 20 seconds. I'm sorry. I said 30, 20 seconds. So then I'll spin it back this way. Lock it in. 20 more seconds. And then I'll do the this side where the tape is towards me. I'll press and then I'll spin it and press it again for 20 seconds. That way I make sure I get good pressure on the tops and the bottom of the uh, of the tumbler. So the, the tops and the bottom will be just as vibrant as the rest of it and not look faded. Now once this, I did 20 seconds. So let's take a look, see? Let's see what we got. I just take the tape off. Top, pretty hot. Or I just take my knife and I just, you know, slice it down a little bit. Just get this tape off of there. Pull the paper off, rip it on off, get it out of there. Then, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty hot, but it's an AKA tumbler. Uh, pretty good. Came out real good though. So that's how you take a regular mug press and you do 20 ounce tumblers on it. You don't have to spend the money to get the tumbler press. You don't have to do any of that. This works perfect. It works perfect. I'll show you one I did earlier. Uh, Colors are vibrant, you know. 
look real good. So you guys like what you've seen, subscribe, like this channel, please. So the algorithm could encourage me to send you more uh, tutorials like this. Thanks again for watching. Have a blessed day.